This is thy mother's prayer. My mother has this been a great support um, to me in Gurbani and with the vibration of the Guru for my whole life. In a more um, sort of removed way, I would say, everybody else has been very involved. But she has been um, just kind of almost like just watching her, kind of on the periphery, you know. When I was born, I was actually born three months premature. Um, so I was like a little preemie in one of those little incubators. And anyone who's ever seen, you know, a baby in one of those things, it's like, it's kind of intense. And um, she was very, she and my dad, but you know, she's the mother. So she was always very insistent on taking care of me in that process and like really like the doctors would say don't give her any breast milk it's too dangerous don't touch her it's too dangerous this was the 80s right so <laughs> don't you know don't interfere with her at all you know because she has to like you know heal and uh, my mom said was just very stubborn about it and said no this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to take care of our, our daughter and constantly just she you know made sure I had everything there and um, one of those things was that she had a little, you know, 80s tape deck like <laughs> in the in the incubator and she would play Gurbani for me all the time. And I feel like she, you know, she was a yogi and a Sikh at that point and she understood, you know, what the womb time is for a child and how important that is, the utero development. And she wanted to make sure that I had I was held in all ways, even though I came out early, and she, and so I felt like just having the Gurbani playing, it just, it went into my cells, my cells were developing at that point, and it really, it's like it, it went into my cellular development, and um, I always felt like her doing that was extremely helpful for me, and just feeling held and supported, and just in my relationship with sacred sound. And when I grew up, she is a she is a sacred uh, music artist herself, and she um, she would always be at functions and different gurdwaras and different meditations. She would always be singing, and um, I always just heard her the whole time. Grow my whole, the whole time while I grew up, and um, she also a little side note. She she recorded um, Narayan, you know Narayan. You know, you've probably heard that during Tantric or something. <laughs> she recorded that when she was pregnant with me. And um, it's it's like widely used like for Tantrics and different Yogi Bhajan put it for different meditations. And it's just, uh, I just feel like there's so much of um, Gurbani and of mantras and sacred music that I absorbed through being around her. So. Uttamata ki asis Uttamata ki asis Uttamata ki asis Mata ki asis